Pixar because I knew he was just going to body everybody. And that's what I like to see. You have to be different. Yeah. Do things that other teams don't do. And, you know, here on Fight Night, we're going to see that between Ronin and the New Goons. Blaze, what are your predictions for this first map? Uh, my predictions is going to be simple, man. You know, I think Ronin has found himself a nice little wave in which they can ride. And I don't see them kind of falling off anytime soon. But this new Goons roster, they can prove me wrong tonight on Fight Night. And that's what Fight Night is all about, Vale. Uh, it's oh, about, yeah. you know, setting up the stage for the players to come out and perform and show us what they got and also show the community as well. So we'll see if new Goons can come out and make a statement over Ronan and just, you know, remind us why they're the best team in Latin America. And to our spectator in the back, can we please go on Monkey's point of view. Monkey's? Ooh. <laughs> Monkey's, okay. Monkey's, he, he put on a huge show in Vegas. I really want to see what he's doing tonight. We're going to kick things off right here. Welcome back to Fight Night. New Goons against Ronin on Impact. And Blaze, here we go. Monkey's, one of the top slayers that we've seen all of in in Vegas. This is the post event. Let's see, you know, if he's going to have a little slumber right now. From what, I've, from what I've heard and from what I've seen is that Monkey's is just a freak of nature and just, you know, the, the times in which he clutched up. For him to really go out and perform the way he did in Vegas, he just shows that, hey, you know what? There is no pressure. I'm having fun with my boys. We're gonna go out and we're gonna win some money. We're gonna do the best that we can. And he showed that to us. And we're on board with him to kick this one off. And here he goes on the plank right now. He threw a big smoke grenade. He has an advantage to go ahead and get the plank on replay. But Pigloys, he takes out both Sleeper and Chaos for headshots. And Critical has to pitch his 1v1 in the home hill. But it's now turned into a 2v1 as he gets the kill on Adverse. And just like that, they take their home hill. They have yeah. a great setup right now. They, they really did. They got into that home hill quick. This was a quick round. You see all the rest of the Rotom players coming off respawn, trying to make it to the hill. But the chunk coming out, and B does get capped. And that's one of the quickest. Fast. 47, I'm, I remember that time. 47 seconds, first round on impact. And that comes to them, you know, pretty much coming out and winning those team fights. Ronan, woo! That's not common to see. When you look at this map, there's a lot of team fire. There's a, a level of progress you have to go through mm -hmm. in order to get triple caps that fast. So <laughs> when you're able to capitalize that yeah. early, that's that's huge. That's huge momentum shift. Man, I almost felt like the way that Ronan placed that boom shot down so quick, the way how <laughs> fast that first round went down, that Ronan was like, man, let's lose it. You know, <laughs> they were, you know, they knew the boom shot was going down. This is the fight that they wanted. The fight that they had in first round, which revolved around that B hill compared to the fight now on the tail end of this plane is completely different. So I'm looking for big things out of Ronan this round. Smoke's coming out. We have Piglo. He's in a huge 1v1 as he takes out Chaos. The boom shot is still down. B Hill has not been captured. <laughs> Kills swept up, and just like that, four down. I four love it. Goons. I love it. We'll see if they can get this domination. It's coming through. Monkeys is left in a 1v1 situation. And this is actually Cardi. I want to say, Cardi, this is him getting aggressive on the home hill of Ronan. And get he's him, trying to man. win this fight, and he's not able to. Let's see, two players in a hill. The A hill gets decapped, but I want to say the boom shot is in his area, and that's it, folks. What is going on? You, you know what? <laughs> what is, what is going what? on, that, man? I, no, no, it sounds like Ronan has done their homework, and Ronan has heard what I've been preaching for so long. What is that, Blaze? Yo, the, losing the first round isn't a bad thing because you get to set the tempo of the map, especially on a map like Impact where you have – uh, only three weapon uh, spawn locations compared to other maps that have maybe six, okay. maybe seven. Uh, you know, they come out and they say, hey, we lose it. We put the boom shot down right away. New Goons lose that. They might put nades down there and it's a completely different fight from Ronin. Fighting by cockpit and fighting by tail, two completely different situations. And it looks like Ronin set up the map the way that they wanted to play it. But it's all going to come down to execution. Okay, you put the nades down to counter the boom shot pickup, but you're still going to have to go ahead and get the nades fast and first because if Ronan gets their hands on that boom mm -hmm. shot throw a power weapon experts you know that's that'll be all she wrote so we're going to pretty much see it basically one person going yeah that's a 1v1 fight yeah that now, was a 2v1 yeah you have the guy coming in pinching from the b side three flames getting super aggressive and he's not taking no shots to the back end but they do give up the nades and this guy is tossing nades as he's trying to run away and Sweeper's able to turn on Reflame, and that's going to be three down right off the jump. Crack has the boom shot. He goes ahead, gets the first kill with Sweeper. One more boom shot. He has to play it extremely safe. His teammate is in a terrible situation, but he saves him with a boom shot, hitting Resonite. And here they are in the 2v1. Lancer fire spraying everywhere right now. They have to go ahead and win this 2v2 before they lose. Just like that, Crack goes out. Adverse chasing down the kill. Might be a bad play, and he's down. Yeah, but the quick rebounds coming in. You see all the team fire from new goons right over the top and they're gonna be able to clean up that kill so no early domination 
uh, in that round. You know, it was just a lot of chaos. So now Ronin's saying, hey, let's get these hills capped up. Our home hill and a neutral hill reset. That new boom shot's probably going to be about maybe a minute and 30 currently from respawning. And so we'll see how this new boom's want to set up. What are they going to prioritize? This B hill or trying to get some map control for the new boom? Well, I'm not going to lie, Blaze. That, that's kind of a pet peeve of mine. When Ronan was up and they had numbers and map control, they just kept pushing into the other team's spawn. When you have that advantage, you have to set back. You have to set up a perimeter and just fly your Lancers. There's no need to fight those fights. Yeah. Not at all. So now we're going to have to see Ronan go ahead and fight back for that map control that they had in the beginning of the round. Yeah, and you know what? At the end of the day, they still got plenty of time to work with. They was able to get that two cap early on and get that point lead. So, but it's only a slight point lead. Chaos getting overly aggressive. He's going to get shot down and cleaned up as well. Let's see who's going to win a fight for the second boom shot of the map. This is what I like to see. Textbook gameplay from new goons right now. They're setting up with their Lancers. Some people, they like to run around with their shotguns, but if you set up a good perimeter of team fire, you're able to win these fights easily. As Critical goes ahead, he takes down the adverse, and they're setting up angles all around the map. There's three players right now on Ronin protecting the A hill, and we're going to see a rush really soon from new goons. Yes, we are. You see, we're on board with Kraken. He's on a sneaky plane. Chaos, I'm not sure if Chaos knows he's in this position, but he is looking in that direction. He definitely knows now. Gonna get some shots in. He's forced to back out. All right, so Boom and Nades both picked up by New Goons. All right, let's see what they can do with it. Now they got this lead as well by about 15 or so points. This rotation is gonna be coming out towards B. Now they may actually choose to hold a two cap the rest of the game. I think, you know, they're able to clean up the rest of these skills with these Boom shots. I think that's their best option. All right, this is a position you do not want to be in. If you're Ronin, you're going to have to push out, which is what they're doing. We see Desnod going ahead for the Sea Hill cap. Critical takes out Desnod and Chaos in the 1v2. Yes, Boom shot control, map control. What more do you need if you're <laughs> New Goons? You know what? I don't... Man, New Goons, they got it all. And, you know, we see their rotations in a way <laughs> don't in which they set it up. Like that. Yeah, you know, they, they, they're all good friends with these Ronin guys, but they know just... Hey, we can beat them. You know what I'm saying? We got the talent as well. We're getting better. The skill gap in Gears 4 is steadily closing. You know, it took us about a year and a half, but you know, we got there, baby. We're, we're finally to that point. <laughs> Adverse in a sticky situation right now. He's getting hit with answer fire. He couldn't get out the way as X Boy goes ahead and takes him out with a frag grenade. Cardio with the boom shot. Oh. Misses the first one, gets taken out by so, Chaos. At home, I wonder if there's a boom shot nope. on the ground. No, because they need to go ahead and get a triple cap. This, yeah, this round is over. Uh, I see a guy kind of pushing over there towards that sea hill, but he's not going to make it in there in time. And New Goons, they played their situation perfectly. Once you get those two nades and those two boom shots as well, so no point rolled. in making that change. Now, we got Sleeper fighting on top of the 1v1 position by the B hill, also fighting for nades as well. Uh, those dual spawns are open, so I'm, I'm, I'm thinking Marksa. He has the long-range potential as well. We know how deadly he is with it. Unless Ooh. they want to go top cockpit and put an incense down, you know, that's going to change the fight up a little bit. Maybe the block is. I think the dual spawns is the most important one, but they're they're making that decision now. And the cockpit being hovered over. And yeah, they say, well, let's just go ahead and block this. Keep the fight not there. Not make the fight too, too staticky. And, you know, Sleefer, he's a jack of all trades. Rather, if you put Hammer Burst, Marks, uh, Botox in that position, whatever it may be, he'll come out on top. Oh, he's definitely a utility player, which would be exciting to see if they put down dual weapons. But we're going to go ahead and see a power push for the boom shot with one player going towards nades is going to be yeah. extremely exciting we're going to see a lot sleeper. of yeah we're going to see a lot of smoke and gunfire at the tail boom shot in favor of new goons ronin adverse is taken out by exploits boom shot is picked up by crack and they retreat which was extremely smart on new goons part Ooh, nice boom shot crack to the place down but what i noticed in that is that ronin they're man down for these boom shot fights at first you know you, you think that sleepers contesting that 1v1 by himself but uh, he has help from another teammate as well. So they need to, if they're going to be baiting out that boom, they need to acquire those nades quicker and get them tossed through mid-map to try to uh, pick up some of those kills. Well, it's really all about execution. If you're going there <laughs> with less numbers and domination is coming through, it's looking pretty good for new goons. But if you're going Whoa. in for a huge fight, Big mistake. you have that? to be able to execute yeah. fast. Who's you that? can't stall. That can't. Big mistake on his part. Uh, you know, he thought that hill was not capped. So when he touched it once, he backed out, and in reality, it was the B hill or the, the opposite home hill in which was uh, being capped up. Because usually if that hill is being capped up, you touch it with one foot, it resets. So that's what he thought the situation was. 
but he could have fought that 1v1 in that hill, and that round would have been over so quickly. But Rona in their map pick. They're getting a spanking. Yeah. And so, <laughs> what is going on, man? So these are the marks in which I, I said, you know, I, I was hoping to get put down. Now, there's, now their strategy kind of works in a sense because Fleefa can go and get the marks and he can rotate down. And so now you need that extra guy that he had because he needs to make sure that those nades aren't picked up. But if Ronan's whole strategy is to be baiting out this boom shot, they can't allow new goons to quick pick it and run away. But now that Ronan's actually sending one extra player to go ahead and get that mark, so they really have to capitalize on this boom shot where new goons are sending. They didn't even get it. They sent all five. They baited out that mark. You're right. All five on the bull. They, they right. haven't got in a position for a quick pick just yet. Now, Exploits, he gets in, he gets one. Revive's coming through, but the kills are there. Crack looking to save his team, oh and he gets God. the revive. And Ronan's going to lose Jeez. that engagement. His nade's going to get picked up. Boom's still on the ground, but there's the nades. That's the double nades in which you want. But Cardia, that's a boom. I, I, that's not a free boom. That was a huge 1v1. He's in another 1v1. Let's see if Cardia against Monkeys. He has a meat shield. He drops it. Oh, he tried to pick it in front of his face. He tried it. So this 1v1 has to be made oh. in order to get boom shot. And Monkeys takes out Cardia to pick up the boom shot. And he can pick it up on that cover. That's the safe spot on it. And so the boom shot does get backed out. Also, the marks for Ronan got picked up as well. So no hills are capped because uh, now players don't typically cap their home hills. They realize that that's something that can be uh, capped up later on in the round is not priority in the beginning of the rounds anymore. What's priority is power weapons and map control. I have a question, Blaze. We see monkeys right now with the boom shot in the 2v1 situation. Is the boom shot needed for those fights? I don't, I, you know what, Bill? I, I believe that they're not. You know, if you find yourself in a 2v1, you gotta be able to assess that situation quickly. Uh, he tried to bank it off the Come backhand. On, man. Uh, but if Desi Knight didn't get that chunk, he would have got a double kill with both of them. So just communication. But, you know, that's one of those risky booms that it's like, okay, yeah, you shoot that. What do you click from it? It's not like that boom shot's on a home hill side of, of new goons where you can get it and Desi Knight can quickly be in a position and decap that home. That's one of those, you know, shaky boom shot situations in which I've been critical on a lot of players. Uh, being able to properly assess that and know I want to use those booms to accomplish something greater. Run away, man. Monkeys got caught out in a 1v1 scenario where there is a... Whoo! Monkey takes out critical in a circumstance I was not expecting. So now he's going to go ahead and push this 1v1 with his teammate's help against exploits. Mm. He takes him out with a headshot. And here he goes. He's on the rampage mm. right now. He gets one more. Gets no, Crack actually gets the team gets kill on replay. Help. And Monkeys takes out Crack. This man. man is lucky. Nah, he, he really is. He had a lot of help in that situation, but most importantly, he used that movement to stay alive. Nate's are spawning up in five seconds. Question is, does Ronan know it? Monkeys may have his teammate behind him pick it up. Boom shot's gonna be in 20 seconds. So let's see. Nate's aren't picked up now. They're gonna be off the board. Monkey's getting aggressive, trying to get some help. He's gonna stay crouched in that cover so he doesn't take no shots from the New Goons players over the top ledge. And now, boom shot spotted up in eight seconds. His teammates is grabbing kills. He got an empty boom in his hand. He's looking to pick up some more shells soon. Yeah, he's gonna take those kills. This is gonna be a Ronin boom shot acquired. Also, I didn't see any Nate kills picked up yet either. He's, he's effortlessly walking around this map picking up these kills, and this is the confidence in which I was explaining to you, Bill, that we saw in Vegas, that he was able to bring the same confidence on the, under the spotlight. Uh, the, the kid's just comfortable, and he's just sick and such a good addition to Ronan. I think it's safe to say that Ronan definitely found the replacement yeah. that they were missing when Identips left. Yeah, this I, guy is a phenomenal player. He's not scared of any 1v1. He pushes every situation where he believes he can win a fight. Mm -hmm. And there's, there's, there's so much you can say about this guy. I was going to say he's great about with power weapons, but from what we've seen so far, um, I mean, once he tweaks that style of his gameplay, mm -hmm. I think he'll be a complete player, man. You know what? I, you know, I think he will as well, but that's just the learning curve of it all, you know what I'm saying? Oh, yeah. You know, maybe he goes back and watches this one and somebody, you know, translate for him. Uh, because, you know, I, I even try to have the conversation. He, you know, he speaks, uh, you know, a little bit of little bit of English, but just the small words. You know, like I speak a little bit of Spanish, <laughs> which I've been working on, you know? Save your boom. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Easy. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to figure out what that is in Spanish soon. So now you see new goons. They have that weapon selection. Now it's like, okay, do we want to get rid of this boom or are we liking the fight? They may be saying, hey, you know what, we won a few rounds off of that.
This fight isn't too bad. We got a few quick picks. So, yep, just go for the secondary weapons. They agree with the with the block up top, which was a placement by Ronan that's saying, hey, they don't want that extra commotion up top. Uh, just let's, let's focus on the fights down low. The easiest swap on a map like this is going to be the secondary. Also, uh, swapping nades out for instants if you don't want to change up the fight too drastically. But the way you toss those nades, you can pick them up and toss them instantly. You're going to have to have some pretty deadly accuracy with those instants if you plan on tossing it from that direction. So nades is a viable choice in this situation. And just like that, we see a strategy where both teams send all five players over to boom shot. Chaos gets the boom shot in the smoke. He gets away, gets down, and killed in the smoke by Crack. One player gets down by explosive. Crack is unable to avenge him. And just like that, we see Cardia. Oh, he backpacked oh. his teammate. Sleeper got to go huge. That bloom is on the ground. He's getting crossed out. His teammate's going to throw nades just to protect it. That's one nade out. Didn't hit a second, but you see it? Oh, he's like, you know what? Let me grab this real quick and go for it. Gets it down with a quick revive. Great communication by New Goons. Monkey's trying to bait out the bloom, trying to win the fight. Can't. No, oh, actually, he trades he it off. He got the trade. That was beautiful. Yeah, getting, getting that out, that's good. That kind of stops the assault on the home field, but it was a few players spawned up. So now New Goons is going to say, hey, you know what? We got a boom shot. Uh, they, 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 use, they use their nades as well. Let's go for a little solid two cap. Now, it's still early on. At this point, you just want to kind of control your two cap and start counting down the clock. So maybe when that next boom shot is spawned up, it's a 20-second respawn round. If you can chain together a few kills, then, yeah, you can bring that pressure. But on a map like Impact, if you're not don't have somebody in position close to that home hill, it's gonna be hard to get that domination. But with three down, this is the perfect opportunity. Yeah, some new goons up two hills to one with the boom shot being used to take out two players. They're in a great situation. If they can go ahead and set up a perimeter after getting this last kill, we can pretty much see a domination. Yeah, you see Avers trying to get there. He actually wins that gunfight, touches that hill, resets it. He monkeys finds one elsewhere as well. So they're, they're keeping this one alive. Monkeys is going to end up decapping the B-Hill, I believe. Adverse brought him enough time to get there. Yes, he does. So this round will still continue to go. We got 22 seconds to Nades and 23 seconds to New Boom Shot on respawn. That was the right play that we saw right there. Cardi and his teammate, they were unable to get the triple cap. So rather than forcing the fight, they went ahead and they did a little retreat because it's extremely important that they save their lives. Cardi, he tries to get a flank. He gets picked out. And yes, he definitely needs to get out of there. His Lancer fire comes rolling in. I'm not sure if he's going to get out of here alive, but he stalled long enough to get his teammates to spawn and set up around the map. All right, Nades and Boom are up. Nades get picked up by Ronan. And with Boom not being picked up, they got a great uh, time frame to rotate it over. Boom's acquired as well. Ronan at the deficit. They're going to get these second set of power weapons. Let's see if they can make use of them. And that Boom shot will be put to use. Home hill of new goons being decap, reflame shooting from a distance. That's it. Not enough help in the area. Nobody's decapping B. Ronan ties it up three to three. How do you just let go like that? You have map control. You had boom shot. You had the players, and then you you give it all away for domination. So that comes down to the situation in which you know you have a full understanding of weapon respawn timers, and when they're spawning up, uh, after they got those consecutive kills and they got super aggressive on that home hill of Ronan. Once they could not end the game, the call out should have came. Hey, reset, back out, play your life. 20 second respawns, especially if you know that your team can't do it. But uh, it was adverse. He was the hero of that round for Ronan. Uh, yeah, let's see if New Goons can go ahead, take the lead, and hold on to it this time around. We see a new half yeah. right now. Power weapons are reset. Crack going ahead. He's forcing the 1v1. He gets a good first shot, backs up. He loses his player in the smoke. And this is not a fight that he's going to want to take. So he's going to go ahead and step back as Chaos gets a second teammate to roll around with a Lancer. Crack is unaware of that teammate. And then, there it goes. He points him out. He's in the 1v1. He gets taken out by Chaos. And I like one the down I like for the new He just didn't get the chunk. He knew what Chaos was doing, and he was ready for it. Oh, yeah. uh, but th those are those type of risky situations in which you got to be careful about. Now you got Ronan building themselves a little bit. They're going to get aggressive. Chaos pushing into a 1v2 by himself. He probably regrets that engagement. It's chaos. I mean, can't say it was a bad push. He was going ahead to advance for his teammates. He only expected one there, not two, which is pretty unfortunate for him. Reflame takes out the adverse. As he was taken out by Monkeys, Monkeys is on a slaying spree as Des Knight takes out both crack and Shit. critical. Ronan is starting to heat up in this one. Monkeys get us some get us some angles with map. And once again, folks, those power weapons are removed off the map and the respawn timers are dropped down to 10 seconds and we are going to get a new set of hills as well. So 
off the second half, the boom shot being placed on the tail end of the map, you know, that's viable. Uh, you know, we're starting to see impact. If Ronin continues to play like this, you know, it almost reminds me of Dam in a sense. Yes. We see new goons with their Lancer display. They're shooting as a team, but the question is, can they go ahead and slay with the best like monkeys as they take out Desnide and monkeys, and they're at an advantage. So right now, the key is for X Boys to win this 2v2 with his teammate to get this decap, because if they're able to do this, Dalmatian could be on his way as he gets taken out by Sleeper, and in a 1v2 situation, Reflame runs back. Yeah, they got super aggressive on it, and you know, that's just a great shot. I believe that was, it was either Sleeper or Avers. I forget who was the one that was up and the other one that was down, but uh, great shot to get around the corner, get that chunk, revive your teammate, and he got up right away with full health. Nobody else was in position to do anything, but that's one of those take it wide type of situations. Pull out that pistol very, very quickly and just start firing at the pile. This is a beautiful moment. This new goons, they're up. There's three down by Ronan. Only one person protecting their home hill. They need to go ahead and win this 2v1 with support fire coming from across the map. They're able to get the domination clock running. That's two players for Ronan. Go ahead. And they're trying to decap. They're unable to right now. This boy has the meat shield. He gets knocked out. He pulls out a shotgun. Gets taken out by Desenai. Cardia takes out his own teammate. And Crack gets a double kill. And just like that, domination is coming through. New goons to get round number one. Ronan's going to be placing that boom shot on the tail end of the map once again. Uh, that's the fight in which they were starting to win towards the later rounds of that. And, you know, I feel like Ronan, once again, they kind of picked this map for them to uh, really, get into their, really get into their flow. I feel like this is one of their maps in which they feel like they need to practice more. And nothing better than use Fight Night to kind of work out those kinks when you have the pressure on your shoulders. You said Ronan? Yeah. Huh. Yeah, I thought they were pretty spectacular at this map. At uh, Impact? Uh, you know, I, I have, out of all the times we've seen them on Fight Night, I've rarely seen them pick this map. Yeah, I, I really like watching them play this map in Vegas. It was, it was exciting. Mm -hmm. Exciting as hell. Because we saw them, they had a different play style in Vegas than what we see now. We yeah. saw a lot of secondary weapons. We didn't see them put out a lot of boom shots, but this might be, you know, their counter strat to go against other Latin American teams. Who knows? Yeah. But Crack, he picks up the boom shot and he runs away. But it's pretty surprising to see the boom shot go down so early yeah, during the weapon drops. Yeah, you know, um, I, you know what? Actually, to me, it's not it's not that surprising because I've been telling teams that since season one is that you need to do this. You need to play to your team's strengths. Yeah. Uh, and those are fighting on the tail. Like I said earlier, fighting on the tail end and fighting over there towards tables are two completely different fights. And so Ronan is setting up. And you know what? When I kind of compare. The boom shot fight over there uh, on the tail end compared to like the boom shot fight like on platform or down. I'm kind of curious on which one I feel may be better. You know, of course that's something yeah. that I will have to like personally kind of scrim and be in that situation to to know that. But you know, I, you know, I'm, I'm kind of liking the placement. Yes, Desnide. He has adverse crawling to him right now for the revive. He knows better than to pick him up because there's guns aiming right at him from the new goons. Reflame trying to go ahead and get the kill. He was too late on the shot. Gets down and taken out by Desnide. As Desnide is able to get away freely with his teammate. One of those situations which you probably can't hesitate on, but Desnide had all. a right hand in that situation the whole time anyway. So it would have been difficult for him to get that kill. Now Cardi is just staying alive. You see the points rising for Ronan. They're at uh, the 100 point mark now, and they're just, they're just holding off. New boom shot got about 40, 40 seconds till respawn. We'll see. You're going to start to see this early rotation. Cardia just being annoying on the wrong side of the map, but the angles that they got next level. There's no need to panic for hills right now. It's boom shot. It will be set to spawn extremely soon. So these players need to fight for map control. This 1v1 will mean a lot as Dez and I takes out exploits. E Hill has been broken. But the question is, who will have the setup for the next boom shot? All right. Does a nice stand in this engagement. He's gonna have a little cover fight. He's gonna get help. Most importantly, he stayed alive. He knows where he can get shot and not. You know, he quickly protected himself and got back in a fight, but that was an accidental hop. So he's just gonna keep hopping until he closes his teammates since he kind of put himself in a bad situation. New boom will get picked up as well. That's gonna be in the hand of monkeys. We'll see how aggressive he wants to get with it. That neutral hill is going to get capped up for the side of Rodin. So off the second half, you got that neutral hill in a boom right next to it. It's going to be very easy to control that one. Also, your home hill in this situation 
Uh, it gives you some time to work with. It gives you an automatic height advantage as well when you have to go fight for that home build. Yes, with a triple kill opportunity, Monkeys takes out exploits. All they need to do is protect at least one hill with their two cap. They're at 197 and 172, and everything is looking good on the side of Ronin. The question is, can they set up this perimeter and save at least one of their hills? Yes. Here we go. You're going to see tied, four tied four. up four to four. Uh, you know, I almost want to say I expect Ronin to just pull away with the rest of these rounds and, and win this one out, maybe 7-4, 7-5. Uh, especially towards the second half. They've seen the look of new goons. They've seen this fight plenty of times over the last eight rounds. And I think they're going to finally start to, um, you know, be more in sync. They got, they kind of got them figured out. And this side, we're going to see, this is usually the typical nade position. On the first half of the game, nades was in a spot. Now they're looking to prioritize these incens. Uh, and, you is know, that going to make a big difference? Mm, it's going to be less of an impact, but at the same time, we wasn't really seeing new goons really kind of fight for those needs as heavily as Ronin was in the first half as well. So, Ensign, even if Ronin picks him up, you're going to have to be extremely accurate with him. But, you know, you got Mr. Hot Hands himself, Death Knight, on the team, but he won't be playing in that position of the map. So, we'll see what they can do. 25 kills from Monkeys. <laughs> this phenomenal player that we saw in Vegas. Slaying out of his mind for Ronin. Not only in Vegas, but in tonight's fight night in the first map. This guy's been going absolutely huge with his shot. And exploits. he runs in, picks up the boom shot, and he runs away without even getting yeah. full rest. You know what? I, I, I like this. I like that boom fight. Probably way better than Dan's boom fight now that I think about it. Uh, just because... There's more clarity to, to the fight. Even a quick pick up that boom on cover, too, is pretty huge. Also, your teammates is able to have your back over the top. Like, you know, it's some serious sight lines fighting for it, and that's what you want. You you like angles like that in those type of team fights because it gives you more opportunities to outsmart your opponents. Yes. And as Exploits goes ahead and captures his home hill, he and Crack did the 2v1 to take out a Ronin player, Desnite. They're up 5 4. So with the boom shot, this is their shot right now to go ahead and get map control. They need to go ahead and clear off this 2v1 as he just is. He takes out Sleeper. They sit there with Lancers and Pistols and set up. This will look extremely well for new goons. Which actually says live, you're the number two Latin American team and you're going against you know, the best out there. Yeah. You really want to make an impression on their map pick. Yeah, hey, you know, you, you see on both teams, uh, I feel like have been evenly matched so far. You know, I did just predict Rowan to kind of run away with this one. We'll see if that prediction is true. Or if New Goon is going to shut me up and say, Blaze, stop talking. Shut up, Blaze. We got this one. But uh, the score is still relatively even, and this boom should be coming up soon. It's critical. He's trying to get out of the way as Lancer Fire downs him. He's in range of a teammate. His teammate's unable to pick him up. His exploits as he gets taken out as well by Chaos. Chaos, a player that dropped 52 kills the first event for Season 2. He is absolutely amazing with his shotgun skills. Crack picks up a double kill. He stops the that, triple cap. Yeah, he stopped that coming in. We got 13 seconds to this new boom. is going to be spawned up. So if we take a look at our overhead map for a quick second. We're going to see kind of the setup that's over there. Let's look. Let's go over to the boom shot fight on the other side of the map. Definitely on board with Crack. All right. Holding off strong. Impressive 1v1, man. Yeah, very. He's going to end up backing out of the situation. Boom shot's going to get picked up. So that's going to be in the hands of new goons. Smoke's going to get tagged down as well. All right, let's see. I like this play from um, Crack. Crack, rather than fighting the 1v1 that was unnecessary, you know, he backed up and gave his teammates a chance to have a teammate stay right. alive throughout that. Ex exploits, he picks up the boom shot, gets right, a double he, kill. He got two quick ones. He's confused on where he wants to go. He's going to end up having a double back uh, and try to help his teammates in this fight. But those are mm, those are two booms in which, all right, what, they're going to get some E-control. They're decapping D. All right, this is two guys so up the map. This is working for him. Crack may try to play his life in this one, but he's going to end up falling. But they lose their home hill in the same process as well. You so know, all of that was for nothing. Once he, shot those, once he shot those two booms, he needs to ask himself, what's the quickest hill I need to get to? you got to have faith that your teammates can win that 2v2 fight in which they have one guy down. You should, he should have been helping his teammate over about where that B hill is and, and kind of fighting for home hills. Yeah, the one, the one between Chaos, he gets 
destroyed by Reflame. If you get the boom shot, so the thing is, if my teammate gets a boom shot, I'm taking myself out of every scenario where I can lose in a fight. I don't want to get down. I don't want to get chunked. I don't want to get killed in any way at all. So you need to back up, regroup with your team, and make a push with that boom shot. You have the biggest, most deadliest gun in the game in your hands. Yeah. And that's when you have to capitalize. All right. Here we go. Now, Reflame, he's taking damage. You see the points. It's pretty much a tie game. Only a slight point lead by New Goons. This D heal is going to be huge. One big 1v1 on who can cap up. Miss Roll comes out. But the question is oh, he's not capping that? What is going on? He's not what capping is going that on? heal? Run back. Chaos. He's killing everybody, but he can't cap his heal. What's up, bruh? You know, I'm. They, they were in the 190s. But, like, even your thought process of, I need to make it to the other hill, no. Your only situation was after you won that fight, you cap the hill and you pray. Yeah. You pray E does not get decapped. Uh, and, yeah. And you have a shot. I don't know. All right. I mean. You know, he'll watch this one back. I mean, who are we? Just hey. casters. Nah, man. We need some <laughs> 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 Oh, man. Chaos, man. I love you, but. <laughs> Whew. Yeah, we're, listen, we're just casters, man, all right? We're exactly. Just, yeah, we're just, we're just good at two old casters, you know? I mean, I suck Making at gears life. now, but... <laughs> <laughs> I still got a little juice I'm just thing. saying. You know, I still... When, you know, when I get a few hours in, then, you know, it all starts to come <laughs> back to me. But that that first two hours, man, my thumbs is all over the place. All uh, sluggish. Are you impressed with the same setup and weapon placements as the first half? Yeah, I am. I am. Okay. It, you know what? This map is looking like damn to me. It's looking like, damn, and it's a team fight in which the teams feel comfortable in, you know? It's so, pretty even. So, yeah, that's the one thing about Escalation Replay. Big double, Reflame. big triple. Jesus. Woo! Who's the hot one on the mic now? Replay. Was that four, five in a row? Four in All a row? All right. There we go. That was three in a row. That's the guy. All right. Now, they're going to get aggressive. This is going to be 18-second uh, respawn round, I believe, if not 16. And so, you know, I can't do quick math. definitely going to be 16. <laughs> so Reflame's gonna get aggressive. He's trying to put some pressure on a home hill. This hill is gonna be actually this hill is capped. This Ooh, Ooh. <laughs> Reflame! Oh alright, alright, alright. I really loved how he played that. He set himself up to go all ahead right. and just be a nuisance against right. Ronin. Shut up, Blaze. And it huh? all okay. paid off. Okay. Six four. They said, Shut up, Blaze. <laughs> he said, what you thinking? That, that was the MVP type of play. I, that was that was that was good. He, you know what? He didn't even see the guy. I don't know. He he might have heard him to his right. I but, just, I didn't but, know. Him. But his his reactions were, were were very quick on that one. Very quick on that one. But well, it was the fact that he stayed persistent with the lancer to shoot them in the back to give his teammates a fighting chance. That was huge because there's a huge team fight happening at that home hill, and probably without him downing that one player. That, that, that made all the difference. And now the new goons are one round away from taking Ronin's map pick away from him. All right. Let's see. Marxist. Mm hmm. Give it to my man, Sleeper. Yeah, that's going to that's gonna be key. So the, those secondaries, the way that they're playing it with the boom on the tail end, those secondaries is going to be a big factor because you really only have to dedicate one guy to the situation. And let's see. Both teams are going to get one. New goons is going to give up. Give it up. All right, so I want to see where this one guy is going to transition to. How many they're going to send for incense? They send one guy for incense. Okay, so Ronan, they need to assess. They need they need a guy who's marking. So this is looking like a four v four fight now. And yeah, this is going to be free incense for Reflame. He's able Ooh. to get that one. Took a teammate out of the process. Oh, <laughs> the side roll. The guy kind of he blocked where he wanted to go. So that incense was on the ground. Not sure if he got picked up, but Sleeper managing to rotate himself back into a power position. And everything is set in the hands of Ronan as they get five down. The marks is in the hands of Sleeper. And has a boom shot been picked up? Yes, it's in Desnai's hands. Ronan has everything that they need to go ahead and win this round. They take it back to 5-6. The question is, are they able to make a solid pitch in order to do that? Critical gets taken out with a boom shot. And Dezo with his teammates. The question is, can he use his boom wisely to make this final push? All right, Dezo, he's, been, he's being patient. You see the two hill advantage in favor of Ronan. And, uh, you know, they kind of going to have a little uphill battle in this one, especially with New Goons being on match point. Let's see what type of rotation they want to make. Definitely want to clear these guys out of the table. On this side of the map, it is feasible to do a home hill setup. You know, controlling D hill, controlling F hill. The home hills of both teams, we'll see. They're going to end up cleaning up two kills. He got the boom shot with one shot in the chamber. 
question is, does he feel like he should use it now? You got Flash to. Your pistol, yeah, man. Now you got to. The way that Crack got super aggressive on Chaos when he didn't need to, it's like, all right, well, you know, because he thought about it. He's like, yeah, hey, do I pull out my pistol? But his teammate dropped so early trying yeah. to hit that up A. But the Dom does come out. He's trying to turn back to his home hill. The question is, does Sleeper make it in time? Oh, oh. Split <laughs> second. Sleeper, get loose on the man. He gets taken One out. One pistol bullet Ooh. away from New Gloom. From New Gloom's closing it out. And Ronan, do, the, uh, they do have players. I believe this is their home hill? Question, this is a lot of players fighting. That's fine. And yeah, this this should be the home hill of Ronan. So that was Sleeper overextended on the other end of the map that made that play. Cardi with a sneak attack on Avers, being a sneaky viewer right now with the boom shot on his back. So will they set up for the next boom shot or will they go ahead and go for the domination? Uh, at this point, it's all about boom. It's all about boom. If your home hill is secure, uh, make sure that you get yourself in a position to get that. The NCN spawn up 30 seconds before boom. So, you know, if, if, if you're... If you're smart enough, you grab those instants and you try to rotate them back into position to get the boom shot. And hopefully you don't get pushed or you don't find yourself in a difficult situation which you have to use it. But we do see him use there. Uh, and that is the new boom picked up by Crack. And he's going to have taken out his teammate as well in that one to protect that home hill. Yes. Chaos with the kill. I just want you guys to take a second and look at what's on Chaos's back. The Ronin Lancer. Guys, if you guys don't know this, you can support your favorite team by going ahead and purchase these Lancers. Um, the shotguns, the new weapon skins from Optic and yeah. Ghost are beautiful. But Ronin, they're going to go ahead and go for the domination. They're in a huge team fight where every kill matters. Adverse misses a shot. He's trying to, oh, he gets taken out by exploits. This is a huge 1v1 for Monkey as he takes the kill and the domination has come. That round was one bullet. It wasn't even a second. It was, it could have, it was one second or one bullet. But Sleefer was the star of that round for Ronin, able to decap that home hill of New Goons before that domination came through when he was four pointed. All right, let's see. Let's go out to hit the hit the ground. We got blocks, and so now at this point, so since it only being four weapon locations on this map towards rounds 11, uh, sorry 12 and 13, we see two different swaps happen, and also at the same time, taking account is that. You can't place the same weapon down twice. So once something gets removed and changed out in this type of situation, it's gone for the rest of the map. So typically, you kind of use these on if you, the boom fight wasn't working for you, boom, you take it off. Or you kind of just switch out those nades and switch out those secondaries uh, to kind of burn that towards the end. 6 5. The question is Can New Goons, the number two Latin American team, actually upset Ronan on their map pick on impact? The question is Can they win off of initial? We'll see. They've been pretty good at getting boom shot lately. So we're going to go ahead and see the pretty much the same strap from both teams as they send five players on new goons, two boom shot, and one player on Ronin to the nades. All right, here we go. This is a big engagement for Ronin. We've seen before crack. The question is, can he get chunked over that wall? And yes, he can. Here comes Critical. He cleans up that kill. The commotion has started. The flanks coming in. Cardi is getting aggressive. They're gonna get this guy down, but Cardia probably should have just pulled out that Lancers and focus on Monkey Ooh. to buy his teammates some time. And now wow. Monkey's last man alive, he gets that down as well. It came down pretty much to him in a 1v2. Oh, actually, no. he's gonna him in a 1v2 if he goes big to save this boom shot. There's no way. Okay, he gets taken out of 2v1 for his exploits. The boom shot has been picked up. Three down still for Ronin. This is all for new goons, not to get the domination, but to go ahead and get map control. They need to do the dirty work to get the domination. They have to go get the extra utility weapons to make sure that they set off a line so Ronin cannot advance. And the one thing is that we need to be cognizant of is that it's 20 second respawn rounds. Yes. And these home hills are a little bit closer to each other than off the first half of the map. So uh, new goons is in a position, where, especially with this boom shot, but they actually get pressured by Ronin. And this is actually pretty good because this pressure by Ronin is forcing these guys to move back. This is by Ronin time to get the rest of their players off a of respawn no. and to get set up. And they're also picking up kills as well. So at this point, your boom shot guy has to be on strictly defense. Uh, you keep him on defense to pick up a few of these kills, protect the home hill. By the time everybody comes off those uh, respawns, maybe you can test for a new boom shot. But I don't see a domination really happens in this one unless the key key fights can be one on each. There it goes. Monkeys in the ad first. They went in to go ahead and get D Hill. Monkeys takes out Cardia. Cardia was unable to clutch oh, that play, that the 1v2 situation. Up. Yes. <laughs> yeah, they allow Ronan to suffocate him. And now you see Ronan with the pressure on the other end of the map. Uh, by Ronan staying, no you know, 
Rona was being, they wasn't, they were being a fake aggressive too. Adverse. Adverse is putting in work right now. You nasty boy. Wow. Adverse wins the huge one you won against Critical. Yeah, yeah. To go ahead and get the domination. They were, they were, six, six. They were fake aggressive. Uh, yeah. They were fake aggressive. And Goons took that bait. Yeah. You know, Ronan knew they had boom shots, but Ronan put just enough pressure and had just enough lance and fire where it backed new goons up. And then they started thinking, right? And so I always say a lot how you need to be very reactional when you're playing this game. But these guys were just thinking too much. It was and smart. by the time they actually even developed a thought, Ronan had pushed down low, took control over E, and started uh, putting that pressure through the spawn. So we'll see if uh, anything changes in this round. I definitely consider the secondary is going down. Yep. Secondary soft shot grenade. Hey, we'll yeah. see what happens with it. This is round 13, folks. For the Nugu's bread. versus Ronan. It was pretty smart. The fight wasn't at home hill. The fight was actually in the middle. Yeah. And Ronan found a way to cut off the boom shot from saving his two two minutes. Bro, boom, boom, boom guy, man. You just got to. You got to step up, you man. Gotta, you got to be quicker. You got to be quicker what than that. What you doing with your life, baby? All right, smoke grenades going out. Boom shot in the middle of the map. Desonai going against X-Boys and Crack 2v3 right here at the face of the boom shot. The question is, who will get the first kill? The spawn timers are slowed down, so this is essentially execution. It's two players. From New Goons here, taking out Crack and Reflame on the recount timer. Critical, you have to get away and help out your teammates. Kaos gets two kills, and just like that, it is looking extremely well for Ronin as all five players are dead. Yeah, that was a choke, choke I've ever seen one battle. Oh, yeah. Uh, you put three guys pressured up on that wall before a boom shot. My question is, where's your guy over the top, right? That was the difference in the setups between between New Goons and Ronin. And your guy over the top is, should be able to stop the pushes of anybody who's getting aggressive to your side of the map. Uh, I believe that was probably uh, one of the Ronin members. They got super aggressive. <laughs> no way. They, they pushed across heavy, and he got into a free fight in which he should be taking a lot of lan Lancer damage before he even makes it over to the side of Goons' map. But it just shows just the difference in strategy of, of having pretty much that 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 main support player over the top looking down into the boom shot yeah. and that's where that's where new goons failed in that round this doesn't make sense but to me. if they did have the guy in that position he yeah. just was shooting in the wrong location and that's also a big fail as well but ronin came up big makes this game so great which is why i'm a huge fan of this new goons team because there wasn't just one person that stood out to me it was everybody everybody did the dirty work everybody did their best to go ahead and try to slay but i, I want to see more i want to see more i want to see them throw out more lancers and shoot for their teammates and on 1v1s reflame was disgusting but i want to see someone else really step up which is what we'll see here on stern all right let's see and uh when we take a look at the overhead map for our new viewers you see stern you see winch on your map those are some of your two key spots. There's going to be a big fight going down between the two of them. Now, Dezo, he's going to be the front spine. He's going to be looking to get an engagement, I, and I believe it's going to be against Crack, but uh, he saw that fight. Even with right-hand advantage, he chose to back up and get with his teammates. They were able to fight and get that small little wide position in order to force those players out and take height advantage, and now they're just trying to suffocate the players from New Zealand. Now that's how you play as a team. Ronan, they called out that there were two people at Winch and one at Stern. So just like that, they went ahead and rotated and used their numbers to for a 3v1 take control of the top of the map, which is extremely important because if you control that Stern and Winch area, you're able to lance her down around the whole map to help out your teammates. Now, Cardia, they're pushing towards Dark Side. Sleeper's going to be waiting for him. It's Cardi. It is Crack. They're going against Sleeper. Sleeper said, Cardi, who? Who? <laughs> crack? Oh, straight from right in front of him, and he gets help over the top. Like That was beautiful. That was flawless. That was beautiful. That was a flawless 1v2. The he fact that he stayed alive. He figured out where was my first kill, which one is the easy one, right? He went right to the back lines, took out Cardia. His teammate got in position to get the pistol shots on the guy with the meat shield as he was reloaded. You saw the little straight, little jiggle left to yeah. right. He was trying to line up that one shot so he can kind of probably try to chunk him through that, that knee shield a, shot or go for the head shot. Like, those are the situations in which you don't lose. And, you know, you, you see something like that and you ask yourself, well, what would I have done differently? Where, where would I have stood not to nah, put myself nah. in a spot <laughs> to get up a the way that I did? And, you know, we've seen teams get clutched up on because of little small positional errors like that. You know, it, Gears of War is a third-person game, guys. There's a slight advantage when you have that right hand. 
Uh, you know, and once you put so much time in, you gotta understand what your spacing should be in those type of engagements. Hammer burst were placed on the dual spots, which will be an extremely important weapon if you win your winch and stern fight because you can shoot down on the map, like I've said before, with this powerful secondary weapon. So we're gonna see a 2v2 scenario at the winch between Ronin and Nugun's questions. Who can go ahead and get the first kill? There's gunfire going through the smoke. Adverse has been taken out by Critical. Chaos is down, but the questions can Desnai go ahead and revive him? No, he's in a 1v1 of his own. He gets cleaned up by Cardio. Excuse me, <laughs> Cardio. <laughs> <laughs> That's what you need to do. You're right. thinking about the Cardio that you did not do this morning. Well, I'm trying to get right for the next event, man. <laughs> so, Cardio, he, right now he's playing the first line of defense. He has a shotgun now. He's ready to chunk anybody that comes over this home hill cap as his team goes through the domination. He's Ooh, he gets one down, which was extremely big. He did not have to push that as he's taken out by Sleeper. And Ronan, they have a fighting chance again. Yes, they survived, they survived that round in which a few players kind of died early on. But when you have players down there that are so good at controlling docks, you saw Ronan, they lost some of their players up top. Uh, they brought that extra man down low towards that B hill so they can push through and get control, extend the round out. It's only 12 second response as well. Uh, Crack, he's very aggressive. Took a lot of damage, and now he's stuck in a spot in which he may get angled out. He's just trying to wait till he gets that health back, kind of back roll to his teammate, put himself in a more favorable position, exploits, trying to get put some pressure on the flank, yeah, but not working out for him. So Crack survived, but his teammate is the one that's going to end up uh, dying for him. Oh, so the question is, can he stay alive? No, he cannot. Okay, this this is my problem with new goons. Um, I see what they're trying to do. But just the timing is off. Mm -hmm. Maybe it's communication. Maybe they just need to be patient a little bit. The flank was a great idea, but there was obviously a guy watching down from the top of the map. You have to keep an eye on that. You have to have top map control. You have to make sure that if you're going to make big plays like that, you have to stay alive and not get Lancer down so easily. It was almost like the play was called, but not everybody was on the same page at once, you know? Yeah. Not everybody pushed in unison, and that's a very important thing, especially uh, when those call-outs do come out on the fly. You guys heard me. You know, I'm always preaching on fight night uh, <laughs> that if your teammate makes a call-out, even if it's a bad call-out, sometimes majority of the time you still got to commit to it and just yell out the matter afterwards for making a call-out, you know? But you'll never know if it worked if, you know, if you didn't commit to the call-out. So, unless some some more obvious situations, you had to push straight into a guy who had a boom shot, you know? This is the difference, man. Lancer's <laughs> out. Team fire. Like I've always said, man, you gotta, you gotta know your ABCs. You gotta always be crossing, man, because on a map like this that's so open and big. ABCs? Yeah, ABCs, a Accurate man. bouncing and crossing? Uh, yeah, something like that. Don't bounce I, too much. I, right. I, I right. came up with it on the fly. <laughs> it was cute. <laughs> <laughs> but you, you always have to be shooting for somebody in this game, man. And this game, once you get control of Stern or Winch, that's 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 a W in my uh -huh. hand. I mean, my books. Because you're able to just support everyone around the map. Uh, Monkeys and Chaos, when they were running around together, Chaos had a shotgun out. Monkeys had his Lancer. Yep. Okay, Monkeys, we know that he's a great slayer, but he knows that his teammate has a higher percentage chance of winning this fight if he's able to damage the guy from afar. And instead of making him a great slayer, it makes him a great player. Exactly. And, and, and that's what you need, and that's what makes top players on knowing what's the right weapon for the situation and where should I be in a situation and what's priority. What heals priority, what teammate is priority. Because uh, you can't help all your teammates sometimes. Some of your teammates are just screwed, <laughs> you know? It'd be nice if you can help everybody, but it doesn't work that way. Cardia to your right. Cardia sees a 1v1. He snuck up on Adverse, gets a one shot, and puts his team up to an advantage with that kill. The X Boys gets the, <coughs> excuse me, the incendiary nades as he takes out Sleeper. And the huge 1v1 is Cardia takes out Dezo. And this is looking really good for New Goons. The question is, can they properly get map control now and shut down Roman? Yeah, it's going to come down to uh, the home hill of Ronin, but. This is where Cardia, he, he, he backtracks, right? Yeah. Hold on, let's look at overhead real quick. Let me see the overhead map. Okay, cool. All right, yeah, so he just backtracked to clear it out. I was going to say, was it possible for him to overextend, but he cannot. And uh, now he's going to end up losing this engagement. And so, uh, yeah, you know, he, he, he made the right play back it up. Now. Oh, my gosh. Adverse, 1v1 after 1v1. He gets two kills straight. It's full red, but he pulls out the Lancer. Go ahead. He's trying to weaken a guy who gets taken out by Monkeys. Great team fire. Adverse, he's feeling himself. He's pushing the flank for another teammate. His x boys is caught in a 1v3. He's able to down Adverse. But the question is, can he get the kill? 
You can't win a 1v2, just try to get the kill. Yeah, he was trapped between four four rolling players. Make the dive and pull that trigger, man. And they all had their swords out as well. So <laughs> now Sleeper, keeping these, keeping these Blue Goon players in their spawn, being patient. And so the B-Hill is now, now starting to be capped up. You hear the trigger for the domination. Now all these players got to run into this wall of rolling Jeez. members, and they just cannot get through it. It wasn't happening. You know, you know that B Hill's getting capped up, so you just gotta, you know, from their perspective, they're trying to see how many of their teammates can spawn up before it's time to push. How many members can we get up before we have to rush this one, uh, and and so that they can rush it together. But still, the defense from Ronan was just too strong on top of their home hill. Now I'm using, I'm, I like seeing long range weapons in this spot. You know, snipers, M bars, you know, torque bows. Uh, we actually any of the power weapons in this spot is is very useful. Drop shot is really smart um, for this map. Yeah. The, you know what? Surprisingly, the boom shot is the least effective on my list. And, and you know, everybody's like, yo, it's a boom shot. How is it least effective? But, <laughs> you know, when it comes down to the sight lines from standing on top of that stern, yeah. you can see the home hills, mid-map rotations, and it's only so much that boom shots can kind of do in that angle. You know, so drop shots, short blows, snipers, and bars, those are the weapons in which you want to look at, and you need to decide what's best for your team and what should you put down on top of that stern? Kicking things off on round four. We have a 2v2 at winch game with one person at the stern. The question is, critical entering. <laughs> he's emptying pistol fire into nothing, just smoke grenades. But he's in a 1v1. Let's see if he can go ahead and take out Adverse. As three players on Ronin takes out another three of new goons. And just like that, four down, Ronin has the advantage. They're going to go ahead and try to get this triple cap replayed. The question is, can he stay alive for long? Monkeys is putting out a lot of land so far along with Desnot. He wastes two incendiary nades without taking one out and he finally gets down and taken out. Dang, he's oh, with the Y, but don't, don't do it too. Well. <laughs> you see the drop shot being utilized over the other half of the map and just, you know, hey, reflame. You know, it happens to the best of us, fam. You know, but the fact is that he felt like the fact that Desnot felt like he had enough time to, to, to whoop him up on top of that hill it just shows a lot he's of where his, where his mindset is. Exactly, he's confident his team. Run the final group. Leifer, he's holding his angle. Okay. He's understanding his shot. He knows no. that, that the guy bounces in, he's going to bounce into the sideline as well. Not whipping that around, staying steady. But look how aggressive he's being right now. He's pushing every 1v1 to match up and he's winning all of them. Every single one of them. I hope, okay, the castle curse did not apply here. So, domination. Ronin, they found their group, Blaze. When Sleeper running around feeling himself, that's when you know that's that this, it. Is, this is a wrap for you. And it, it, it you works know? for Ronin, and that's why they were extremely successful in Vegas. When Sleeper had his weapons in his hand, mm -hmm. and you had chaos and monkeys and everyone doing their own thing, yep. it was sexy. It was beautiful to watch. These guys, they were flawless running around maps and just destroying top teams. You know, I you know I feel like this, you know I feel about this Ronin roster the same way I feel about an optic roster that any of these players can go off and they really don't have a weak link, you know? Yeah. <laughs> you, you see monkeys in Desert Knight, you know, they got these kills, but it, it doesn't matter, especially when you're 4-0, like, <laughs> none of that really does matter. Uh, you know, they're just, they're having a good time and the rest of their teammate is picking up slack, you know? Even if you're not in a role that's considered to be a main slayer, which is those spawns 1, 2, and 3, uh, you know, still, you know, you go out there, you put in that work. Yeah, and they're just so dominant in the 1v1s right now. Crap was taken out by Adverse. But Cardia, he answers back, getting a kill to help out his teammate. The drop shot was picked up by replaying. So this is Nuzum's chance to go ahead and try to get an advantage for the first time ever on this map. All right, NCMs get picked up, picked up by new goons. They have two drop shots left. They're gonna pass this one off. That was nice. And there you go. Sharon is Karen. Uh uh. You know that's that's one thing about you know weapon swaps. They're just they love. Was was it weapon swaps in UE? <laughs> No, wait. I don't think so. No. I don't think it was weapon swaps in UE. No, no, UE was, you know, it was remade from Gal 1. It was old school, so we had to pick up a random weapon to drop. <laughs> did, we have, did we have wall cancels in UE? No. Okay, yeah. I still wanted the weapon swaps. Weapon swaps was key, you know? Yeah. And then follow, follow me back to the Hammerverse and drop off the snipe. <laughs> 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 we, we come a long way, Blaze. Oh, uh, that drop shot actually uh, I thought bounced it was gonna off bounce his back chest. and hit him. Oh, uh, yeah, it bounced off his chest. And now we see him rolling, slowly start to, you know, pull away with this one. That's four members down of Nugo. X-Boy's pushing 1v1. This man is hungry, but 
he's full as first goes ahead and bodies him. I mean, this Ronin, they're looking nice. extremely strong right now. They're, they're winning most of the majority of their 1v1s, all their 50-50s. Mm -hmm. It's going in their favor. Their team fire is on point. It's, the question is, what does new goons need to do? They, they get the power weapons, but they don't capitalize off of it. As you saw, the guy had a drop shot, and he was in a 1v1 scenario. Yeah. That's, you shouldn't be there. You just, you, you gotta kind of look back, and this is one of those situations where you need to make sure you watch your film, you watch your footage, yeah. and you need to say, all right, well, what could I have done differently? Why did I, you know, could I have pushed? Could I have stayed alive? Maybe it's a communication thing. You know, that guy could be making mistakes, but he's thinking that he have different intel. He may have different intel than what we may think he have, you know? Uh, it's a few different things and, and what can go wrong, but... You know, there's plenty of different ways for them to correct. I mean, watching film is everything. This new goons team, they're far from bad. I'm actually, I feel like they have a lot of potential. A hell of a lot of potential. Um, but there's small things they have to pick up on. If we're going to have a team fight at Stern, make sure there's no one at Winch. You know, it's just the small things. Um, or at least make sure somebody's watching it. Exactly. And that's why they lost the fight right there. So if they can pick up on those small things and actually excel and progress from that, then this team would actually be a threat. Because... Uh -oh. Chaos, Jesus. Puerto Rican Thunder with four kills straight. There we go. Chaos, just an absolute animal as Ronan gets. <laughs> From this day forward. <laughs> Their fifth round. From this day forward, I'm calling him Puerto Rican Thunder. Puerto Rican Thunder. Yeah. <laughs> the rest of this whole cast, his name is Puerto Rican Thunder. <laughs> like, I mean, they're, they're dancing in the middle of the map right now. They're, they're not taking them serious. If I'm new goons, you can't get tilted. Like I said, you have a ton of potential. Um, Even though it's 5-0, it's... Uh, call me crazy, but it's closer than the mm -hmm. most. Uh, you know, actually, I mean, they're, they're getting smacked in 1v1s and all, but it's missed opportunities, which is why I'm saying it's closer than it looks. Because they were going to fights in that watch, you know, certain, like, Winch, for example, mm -hmm. and they, they blew a 3v3 because of that. They, yeah. they get drop shot, and they're forcing 1v1s to drop shot. So you're in good situations, but you don't capitalize off of it. Yeah. That's the thing. They looked more organized last map, and I, I want to see them practice and get and, better at maps like this. And that's true, but in this map so far, New Goons has, to me personally, they haven't done anything to make my eyebrow even rise an inch, you know? I see potential, Blaze. It is. I see, you know, it was crazy potential in that first map. Don't get me wrong, like, these players are talented, but for you not to be able to, like, let this one pull away, <laughs> on, this is their no, map don't, don't do a chaos. No, no, come on, man, see? New Goons picked this map, right? Yeah. Yeah. This, this is their map. Nah, nah. This Ronin's a map now. <laughs> <laughs> you might as well just let them pick the whole cycle and give them cog as well. I mean, why run out of spawn? You know, that's just Ronin pulling away with it. And New Goons, they feel it. <laughs> <laughs> 6-0 Ronin. Hey, this team got top three for a reason. For mm -hmm. a reason. And the fact that we're saying top three, it's not like they've never been at the top before. Yeah. Season one. Second place. Second place. So these guys but, know what it takes to get there. But so, like, okay, so even with my logic before Vegas, <laughs> my logic before Vegas, especially yeah. when it applied to Fable, I said teams that beat Optic Gaming had a new swag about them, right? They oh, yeah. had a new confidence about them. That was my theory of it. All the teams who ever took a map off of Optic Gaming uh, had always had this vibe about them where they built their confidence. In this situation, Ronan beat those boys. No, they beat that. They mopped the floor with them, yeah. all right? And so Ronan's saying, hey, you know, we, we were close. They got that confidence about them again. You know what I'm saying? They feeling good. They shooting straight. Ooh. They eating good. And it's showing. Push the one we want. Let them know you the man, oh, Adverse. Get him, Adverse. You on stream, He's gonna go baby. For it. Get him. There we go. <laughs> Adverse with the 1v1 Cardia. Daddy's home. Just like that. 7-0. Ronin. You know, so. <laughs> <woo. laughs> <laughs> hey. You know, I like it. Hey, he, he styled on him a little bit. I like I'm it. I'm not going to lie. You so, know, from map one to this one, night and day. Oh, night yeah. and day. But, I mean, that says a lot. I mean, this team, they obviously, they, they have things they need to work on. Yeah. Um, Impact, they weren't so bad. Both teams were filling each other out a little bit. Second map, it was sloppy. And I feel like it was in part of communication and map awareness. Yeah. Why are you smiling? Nah, I'm, 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 just, I'm just thinking about it all. No, I'm agreeing <laughs> with you. I can't, I can't smile. 